Now to the SpaceX launch and NASA's mission to finally bring home astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. The pair delayed in space for an extra nine months after trouble with Boeing Starliner. ABC's Faith Abube is at Cape Canaveral. Faith, good morning. This extended stay could soon be over, right? Yeah, good morning to you, Wade. After nearly a year in space, Sonny and Butch are waking up at the International Space Station this morning to the good news of the crew coming in to relieve them so they can come back to Earth. Successfully launched from here last night and this morning, they're getting closer and closer to the ISS. Overnight, the SpaceX Endurance capsule lifting off from Cape Canaveral, heading to the International Space Station for a crew swap that will finally bring astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams back home. I'm happy to report that Falcon 9 safely delivered the crew and Dragon to their intended orbit. The successful launch coming after a hydraulic issue caused NASA and SpaceX to scrub the first attempt Wednesday, just 45 minutes before takeoff. Are there any more concerns about anything that could possibly go wrong at this point? We're going to take it one step at a time and watch the vehicle carefully and watch the crew carefully on the way to rendezvous and docking. On board the Endurance capsule, four astronauts from the U.S., Japan, and Russia. Once they dock at the ISS, a team on the space lab, including Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, will head back to Earth. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V carrying two American heroes. The pair arrived in space on an eight-day test flight last June on the Boeing Starliner. The capsule was brought back to Earth without them due to technical issues. The Crew-9 team will now be cleared to return on another spacecraft that has been docked there since September, once the Endurance capsule arrives. Williams' mother and sister speaking to our ABC affiliate WCVB ahead of her anticipated return. She was supposed to go up for eight days, and here she is nine months later. <laughs> but it's better, you know, to be safe than sorry. I can't wait for her to come home and enjoy the beach with us and all the other activities. And depending on weather, Janae, that return could happen as soon as next week, Wednesday, with a splashdown somewhere in the Gulf. Janae. And I'm sure they are counting down the days to that, Faith. Thank you.